Welcome to the introduction to mechatronics. This is a class at Northwestern University, also referred to as ME333, or just mechatronics. My name is Nick Marchuk. You can reach me at nick.marchuk at u.northwestern.edu. This will be a uh, series of lectures for my class over the next nine weeks. Uh, in this class, we're going to be talking about a few things. We're going to uh, learn some C programming. C is a very uh, traditional language for things like uh, programming on microcontrollers. So we're going to learn how microcontrollers work. Specifically, we'll be using the PIC32 and a breakout bo board called the NU32. Um, and then once we get uh, our C programming down on the microcontroller, we're going to talk about sensors, actuators, and control. So by the end of this nine uh, week sequence, we'll be able to uh, take a motor, read the encoder, control the current and the position of the motor, communicate with our computer to send a trajectory of desired motion to the microcontroller, it will make the motor move and send the data back to the computer so we can view it. And we'll also be doing a little bit of Python in there so that we can view the data. This will be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the course syllabus here on the homepage, uh, which is hades.mech.northwestern.edu. Uh, also referred to as the uh, Northwestern Mechatronics Wiki. So we can see we have two sections. Um, during COVID, this doesn't particularly matter. We have two TAs and a grader. We'll be using Canvas to upload uh, the homework assignments. We have a series of videos uh, made by Professor Kevin Lynch um, that used to be supplemental. Now we'll have uh, my videos as well. The point of this class is specifically to give you the tools you need to be creative. So if you're trying to build something, um, often you need to sense uh, maybe a position of a device or its motion. Um, then we want to take that data, modify it, and move something. And I don't know, maybe flash some lights, uh, make some sound, uh, read some data, write some data. Those are all things that we'll be able to do um, after taking this class. Something that we're not going to cover, though, is how do you make your own printed circuit board? Uh, we won't be doing an open-ended project. That's something that you can do in ME433, the following class, Advanced Mechatronics, um, or a series of other classes. So we'll be doing a lot of programming in this class, uh, but it's not particularly difficult programming. We'll be using the C language and investigating how C gets turned into other layers of code. You don't need to know C uh, before taking this class. We're going to spend the first two weeks just talking about C by itself on your computer, then we'll migrate to C on the microcontroller. After talking about C on the microcontroller, we'll dig down into exactly how the microcontroller is interpreting our C code and the special functions that it has, like making digital pins turn on and off, keeping very specific tracks of time, using interrupts to uh, control exactly what is going on at the exact moment we want to happen. Then we'll talk about how do we read signals, like analog voltages. Um, then we'll start to move in and we'll talk about brush DC motors and PID control. There's a lot to do here, so I've asked uh, you to complete an assignment for the first day of class. Now, during COVID and registration, it's difficult, so if you didn't finish it for the first day, don't worry, we won't take off points. Um, in addition to doing that, though, we need to make sure that you have a laptop that has two USB 2 U ports. Um, at some point, you'll be using one USB 2 for your microcontroller and another for a USB oscilloscope, unless you happen to have a real oscilloscope. Uh, most computers now have some USB ports, but some are USB-C, so you might need adapters. Uh, so start thinking about that. We won't need them until week three, but you might need to buy an adapter. Uh, you'll also have to buy the class kit, and I will uh, send you an email about that. Um, now, uh, in terms of how can you complete this class um, working together, 
We encourage you to work together and talk, but we don't want you to copy each other's work or provide completed sections of code. Uh, so go ahead and discuss the questions, but um, it's the code isn't coming out of your brain through your fingers into uh, your text editor. Um, if you're copying and pasting, that's bad. Um, so uh, we'll be able to tell you know, if you uh, copied someone else's code. So at least go through the process of renaming the variables and thinking about it. Um, that's at least some level of learning. If you do find some interesting code on the internet, uh, go ahead and use it. Just be sure to give it an attribution. Where did you take it from? Um, and document it so that we know, you know why did this work and what cool thing does it do. On our side of things, uh, we're committed to make sure that you have the best learning experience you could possibly have. We'll be holding lots of office hours, um, especially during COVID when we can't see each other in person. Uh, we'll do our best to make sure that you know everybody has the right amount of assistance that they need to be able to uh, finish the assignments on time. Now we're not going to do a whole lot of circuit building, but there will be enough circuit building so that if you haven't taken some kind of class in the past where you've used a breadboard and done some very simple like Ohm's Law style math, uh, you might be a little lost. So you can take this quiz. Um, it's more advanced than you probably need, but if you take that and it looks okay, you're probably good to take this class. We'll be using a textbook written by uh, Kevin Lynch, uh, Matt Elwin, and myself. Um, the first couple of chapters and the last couple of chapters are available for free. Uh, you've probably seen that already to do the first homework. And I'll provide some more chapters as we go. Uh, if you're feeling you need more information about C, there's lots of great websites on C, and also this PDF, Essential C, it's really great in just explaining the basics. And then eventually we'll be referring to the data sheet and the family reference manual for the microcontroller a lot. Uh, now when you're looking at the textbook, um, there are lots of things that change you know, periodically when the compiler changes, or maybe there's just a straight up typo, so you can feel free to report here. The grading for this class will be based on um, the assignments. There'll be one assignment every week. And quizzes, there'll be one quiz every week. And it's weighted towards the assignments. We'll also be doing listening comprehension questions. So did you watch uh, the videos that Kevin Lynch made? Um, and there will be demonstrations of uh, does your homework work? So that'll all be wrapped into this assignments area. Uh, your homework will be submitted on Canvas. Um, it's a little annoying if you zip everything up. So you'll eventually have C files and H files and a PDF and images and all those kinds of things to turn in. Don't zip them up, just upload them individually. It makes it easier for us to grade. And then here's the part of the website that you probably need to follow the most, the schedule. Uh, I will add to the schedule as we go. Um, but the basic schedule is that uh, before Tuesday, you will have an assignment to do. So on Tuesday, you will turn in your assignment. You'll also watch some videos and uh, answer the LCOMP questions on Canvas for them. Then I will upload some videos, and you'll watch those uh, either you know during the class time or before class time. In the class time, I'll be on a Zoom or Gather um, area online so that you can ask questions. Um, then you will uh, start the next homework. and. The, the class after the homework is turned in will have a quiz on that homework. So on Tuesdays, you'll turn a homework in, you'll be assigned a new homework, and on Thursday, you'll have a quiz on the previous homework. So it can be a little confusing. Just be sure to uh, watch this page a lot and watch Canvas. Uh, that's exactly where we will um, post what is due when in case you get lost. Uh, last thing's the uh, FAQ. Uh, you don't need to know C before coming into this class. Uh, most people don't know C. Um, if you have taken a mechatronics class before and you're familiar with uh, special function registers and PID control, you could probably skip this class and just go straight to 433. Uh, this class, uh, maybe 10 years ago, used to have an independent project. Uh, we removed that to fit in more content. Um, and then ME433 is also, it's a little more independent, but still everyone does the same projects. Um, but after you've taken this class in 433, it'll be in good shape to uh, take an independent study. So I would suggest uh, taking the both of those classes, and then um, then we could pick a, a single project that you could do for 10 straight weeks, uh, either in a, as a team or by yourself. And then, um, yes, you'll need a laptop for this class. Uh, a tablet won't do. A uh, Chromebook won't, won't work. Um, but any operating system is fine. And I'll switch around a lot. I'll use my Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. Um, to demonstrate how those work. 
So I look forward to uh, making a whole bunch of videos for you to watch and answering questions um, in Zoom. And um, for this first week, we'll have a couple more videos. Thanks.